From the depths of his extraordinarily vivid imagination, he famously conjured up Mr. Ben, not now, Bernard, King Rollo, and Elmer the Patchwork Elephant. The manuscript and rough drafts of a new illustrated story about Elmer are now in the archives of the late British children's author and illustrator David McKee. His family will be published next year. Handwritten manuscript date suggests that McKee finished writing and drawing the book shortly before he became ill and died of pulmonary dysfunction 10 days later, on April 6, 2022, at the age of 87. His son, Chuck McKee, said, a couple of weeks later, I sat down at his desk to look through his papers. There was something everywhere. He took bank notes and drew on them. You could see where conversations were going. You could follow what was happening. At what point he lost his way and moved on to something else, the block of paint would suddenly start to turn into a face and a body and burst into something. McKee's son found handwritten pieces of paper with a story written on them that corresponded to numbered sketches drawn in black ink. When I came across the sketches laid out page by page, I realized he had a book coming. The final version was called Elmer plus Polar Bear, seventh version. It tells how Elmer and his cousin Wilbur encounter a mysterious polar bear in the jungle who is trying to find his way home after sailing from the icy north on a tiny patch of melting ice. I like where I live, the bear tells the elephants, explaining that he got lost in the jungle because of global warming. The world is getting warmer. Chuck McKee believes his father became concerned about the climate emergency late in his life and later discovered he had consulted his publisher Anderson Press about writing such a story featuring Elmer to help parents talk about the issue with their children. So many people wanted to use Elmer as a mascot, so many organizations, and he never wanted that to happen because Elmer belongs to everyone. So the idea of doing something, making a statement with Elmer about climate change, was a first for him, he said. He thinks his father was inspired to write the story during the heat wave of summer 2021 after being stranded in Provence in the south of France due to COVID travel restrictions. I think he was hot himself. Among the documents that were around the book was an early version in which Elmer says, we're going to have to do something about this global warming. We can't just leave the refrigerator door open. He thinks his father was reflecting on his own experiences during the heat. That summer was very hot. He had a huge refrigerator, and I think he would go in there from time to time and cool off. McKee's ink sketches will be turned into color illustrations in the upcoming book Elmer and the Polar Bear, as well as a second unpublished, untold story of Elmer that his son found and due to appear in 2027 by longtime artist and illustrator Marisha Malewski, longtime friend and admirer of David McKee's work. She asked me where my father got the paints from, and I took everything, paper, paints, pencils, everything. I put it all in the car and took it to her, Chuck said, adding that his father, who loved French crane caramel, often used dessert pots to mix colors. In addition to McKee's rough sketches, Malevsky found two incomplete illustrations for the book in a stack of papers her son gave her. It was amazing and really helpful, she said. In a recent interview in May 2020, McKee told The Observer about his desire to write discursive books that adults would want to talk about with their children. Picture books are meant to be shared, and I love the fact that you have an adult audience, he said. And the idea of having something to talk about in a book rather than just a little story with a happy ending, I think that's the area that interests me more.